Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to be exploring the material date picker component. Let's start by talking about the multiple output formats of the date picker. It's possible to have the material date picker to output plain JavaScript dates, but this is actually not recommended. Instead, it will be better if we use the material moment date module that is going to be using moment.js. That's a JavaScript library that is the de facto standard for handling dates in JavaScript. It's much easier to use than the date itself. This library is a much more practical way of handling moments in time and dates in JavaScript. So we are going to have the material date picker to emit moment.js instances. Let's then start adding the material date picker to our form. We're going to start by adding here a new form field. The date picker that we are about to build is a combination of three elements. One is a plain HTML input that we are going to enhance with the material look and feel using the mat input library. And the second element is going to be a toggle button with a small calendar. And we're going to be adding this icon right after the input field. So this can be done using the material date picker toggle that is going to display a small button. And the last component is the date picker panel itself from which the user is going to be choosing the date. For that, we are going to be using the material date picker component. Let's see how we are going to connect all these three elements together. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to give a name to this date picker panel. We are going to call it my date picker and the hash here means that this is a template reference. This means that we can use this name elsewhere in the template. We are then going to use this template reference to link the date picker to the input box. This means a couple of things. This means that the value displayed here on the input is going to come from the date picker and also it means that any value that we type on the input box is going to be reflected whenever we open the date picker panel. In order to link this material input with the date picker, we are going to be using the mat date picker directive. And here to the input property of this directive, we are going to pass a reference here to the date picker. A similar thing will happen here in the toggle button. This is the little calendar button that is going to open the date picker. Here we have a property named for, and we need also to link it here to this reference to the date picker panel. We also want to configure here our toggle button so that it's displayed after the input. So for that, we are going to be setting this property here, mat suffix, and we don't need to pass in any value. With this in place, we are almost ready to see the date picker in action. Before doing so, let's quickly link this input field to a form field. So we are going to be using the form control name and we're going to be linking this input to the released at field, which we have not added yet. Let's add it here to our form. So the name of the field is going to be released at and to show that indeed the date picker is integrated with moment.js, we're going to be passing to the date picker an instance of moment, which corresponds to the current instant. We are also going to be making this a required field. And with this in place, we are almost ready to try our date picker. Let's just fix here a small typo. This is minuscule P instead of capital P. Let's then try our date picker to see how it looks like. We have refreshed the application. Let's hit edit. As we can see, now we have here a new form field. This is displaying the current date. And now if we click here on this icon, we are going to see here the date picker. This is already set for today's date. And we have here all the usual functionality of a date picker. So this is ready to be used in our Angular applications. Let's select here a new date. So as you can see, this gets reflected back to the input field because the two are linked together via the mat date picker directive. And with this in place, we have a fully functional date picker that is emitting moment.js instances. 